what makes the magic of this evening is that you're rewarding people in sports and education and business and uh, all over the map. So normally people get together in their own uh, cocoons and tonight we get to celebrate people in many, many different areas of our, of our life, really. More than 400 people gathered at the 9th Annual Community Builders Awards of Excellence Gala to celebrate eight outstanding citizens and organizations in Greater Sudbury. The Arts Award went to Priest de Perrault, one of the oldest French publishing houses in Canada outside of Quebec. Laurentian University School of Architecture Steering Committee Chair Blaine Nichols won the Economic Development Award. I think this is tremendous. I mean, uh, I've got a huge amount of satisfaction just out of uh, the achievements that the project has made and, and uh, uh, this is really uh, special to get this kind of recognition for it. So. The Nickel District Conservation Authority accepted the Environment Award. The Education Award went to Dawn Marie Webagon for her outstanding work as Aboriginal Lead of the Sudbury Catholic District School Board and Principal of St. David's School. Having the opportunity to work with all these amazing people, it leads people like me in this position to these wonderful opportunities. I don't think anyone does it alone. I think people work together as teams and in the end, we're very, very, very fortunate to be able to work together and build these communities that we have. Finlandia Village was honored with the Health Care Award. Mark Burgess accepted the Sports and Recreation Award on behalf of the Burgess family, who has owned the Sudbury Wolves franchise for the past 25 years. You know, we've been able to, to, uh, to really contribute to this community over those past years. And it's not only developing hockey players, but it's developing young men that can go in the community. We do a lot of fundraising for the hospitals, Easter Seals, Telethon, uh, Arthritis Society. So those are, those are things I'm very proud of. And this year's Hall of Fame award recognized the Kiwanis Club of Sudbury which continues to aspire musicians and dancers in the community. They deserve a lot more than I do, I should say. 17-year-old Dax Law was honored with the Young Leader Award for his volunteer efforts with the Sudbury Arthritis Society. It's quite an honor, actually. I was quite surprised when I uh, heard that I won this award. I didn't know I was nominated. Next year, I'll be at Laurentian in either their science or forensic science program. And then I set my sights on Nossum after that, the uh, med school in town. And after that, I hope uh, to do medical research in Northern Ontario. Uh, we've been in the award business for many years, but the people that win tonight really build a community. They're behind the scenes often and uh, it makes Sudbury a different place. It's just fantastic. For more information on the 2012 CBA winners, including their video bios, visit www.cbawards.ca.